I'm already weak. That'll sound kind of cool on the video, I think. Okay, hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my dad. I think he and my mom have been helping me keep my pet room clean since breaking my foot. And he is here today. Again, they're humping they're really <laughs> hardcore over there. The boys are humping the heck out of each other right now. It's really distracting. But he is helping me change the litter boxes and rearrange the room. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a pet vlog. And in this video, I'm going to be changing around some of this pet room. But before I get started with today's video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. I know a lot of you guys that watch me here on my pet channel really care about animals and animal rights. So you will really enjoy today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com and their Save the Tortoise collection. I have a couple pairs of Save the Tortoise collection glasses that I would love to show you today. But first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Glasses USA. They are one of the biggest eyewear retailers in the United States. They offer thousands of eyeglasses and sunglasses with big brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, and more. And they're usually up to 70% off retail price, so they are super affordable. They have already sold over 1 million of the tortoise shell glasses, which is amazing. And since Glasses USA's popularity has been increasing, it is finally time to take a stand with the Save the Tortoise collection. Introducing the Save the Tortoise glasses collection from GlassesUSA.com, inspired by these beloved endangered tortoise species, and their commitment to help preserve them. Together with the American Tortoise Rescue Foundation, they created a unique eyewear collection, eyeglasses, and sunglasses that take inspiration from endangered tortoises, and up to 10% of the proceeds go to being donated to the foundation. They are made of 100% plant-based acetate and packaged in sustainable, recyclable materials. Frames that I am wearing are very special and they're for a good cause. GlassesUSA.com is offering an exclusive offer for my followers. If you click the link in the description box. So these are the frames that I am showing you guys today. I love them. I've been wearing these frames since I have received them and I've gotten so many compliments and the entire collection is just stunning. These are the Santiago Giant Tortoise glasses and they're so comfortable. I love how big the frames are. They are so amazing. These are my new favorite pairs. These two pairs that I am showing you are my new favorite pairs of glasses. I wear them all the time. And then my all time favorite new pair of glasses are the box turtle glasses. I am obsessed with these. I just am obsessed with how big the frames are. I love box turtles and I just love these glasses. As you can tell, each pair of glasses pays artistic homage to a different type of turtles. Also shopping online for new glasses can be very overwhelming, especially if you don't know what they're gonna look like on your face. The one really cool thing about GlassesUSA.com is that they have a try on tool. So when you click a pair of glasses, you can upload a picture of your face and put the glasses on your face to see what they would look like. And I think that is a really great idea to have. They also have free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days of receiving your GlassesUSA.com package. I don't know if you guys could tell from little clips I showed you, but the details on all of these glasses are amazing. You can see the detail of the turtle shell on the tip of the glasses. I think that is such a beautiful artistic touch and I just love it. You can join our calls by uploading a picture of you wearing your tortoise shell glasses. And if you tag Glasses USA with the hashtag Save the Tortoise, you can enter a chance to win a free pair of your own Save the Tortoise glasses. They're also offering an exclusive discount on top of any coupon code just for my followers and it is only available for 20 24 hours. So click the link down below to check out your exclusive offer and discount for GlassesUSA.com. Thank you so much GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video and let's get right into it. Changing the cages around, making some new ideas, and also I'm going to be decorating the walls eventually too with some of the art that I have collected. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to do. Keep in mind the cages are pretty dirty right now. I've only cleaned two of them so far. It is deep clean day. Guinea pigs are messy. Rabbits are messy. So it is a little messy in here right now, but that's that's why we're cleaning. So let me kind of show you the idea that we have right now. Okay, so right here on this side of the pet room, I do have some gnat catchers up here because I do live in Georgia in the south and gnats are everywhere. So I do keep these up to catch any gnats if I do have some. Luckily, I have not had any gnat issues, but 
but here is mocha and latte in their cage they are in a two and a half by seven and down here if you guys remember this is where ricky used to live my foster pig and it's been empty ever since he passed away and I have decided to move coffee over here. I'm going to deep clean this entire bottom part because I've just been using it for storage, so it's super messy. So coffee's gonna be moved over here. Here is the rabbits and their super messy area that we're gonna be cleaning today. Their area is gonna look a little bit different too because of the idea that I have. So here is my other stacked cage over here. So I have three boys who are separated. Beans up here used to have a friend and Noodle sadly passed away and he's been alone. And I think my single male down here named Chip will do really well being a friend with him eventually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this cage down the middle. I'm gonna put Chip up here. So they're gonna be beside each other. Coffee does not like other guinea pigs. He doesn't want friends. I've tried to get him multiple friends. It's just not happening. So Mr. Coffee, my old man, is going to be the one that's going to move right here. This whole bottom part is going to be opened up. There's going to be no guinea pigs at the bottom. And I'm gonna open up this whole area where the rabbits can go underneath the cage if they want and they'll have this whole room to themselves, this whole side of the room. Enough talking, it'll be better to visualize it all and I honestly just wanna go ahead and get it done. So the first thing that I'm going to do is deep clean this bottom cage and move my old man coffee right there. So let's go ahead and do it. While the video is being sped up of me cleaning, I figured I would talk to you guys a little bit. So I, first of all, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody being super patient with me while I had my foot surgery and people have been messaging me asking me how I've been doing and I just really appreciate everyone that is doing that and just caring about me. I really do appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, these past four months have been extremely hard. Thankfully, I have my parents to help me and all of the animals have been healthy and doing good the entire time. And as this up video is being uploaded, I am currently back at my part-time job of being a vet tech and I can walk and drive again. So once again, just thank you guys so, so much. I also wanted to say as well is this video is kind of a restart back to my pet channel. I have so many ideas for this channel for the rest of this year now that I am able to actually film and walk around and do stuff more. I have so many ideas coming. I have a whole series where I'm going to show you guys how to make guinea pig items. I'm going to show you how to make toys, liners, pee pads, all of that fun stuff. I'm also going to be doing a couple of art vlogs where I paint my guinea pigs. I have just so many ideas. I have vlogs. I have a future foster vlog coming because I'm fostering a pet right now. A lot of ideas are coming, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for it. And I promise more uploads are coming now, and I won't be taking as long of breaks as I was taking before. So now into what I am doing in this video. As you can see, we're just cleaning all of the cages, and this is when I start separating the cage in half, and also taking apart the bottom of the cage and cleaning all of that out so I can open up the entire floor to my rabbits. So this took probably five or six hours for my dad to finish the entire room. It was exhausting. My foot was dying because this was before I got the pins pulled out of my foot. So I was going through it that day. I shouldn't have been on my foot that long, but it was worth it because now the rabbits have so much more space and all of the guinea pigs seem so much happier than they were before, especially Beans and Chip because they are beside each other and they've been doing really good beside each other the past like month that I've put them together because I literally filmed this probably a month ago. My plans for these two boys is that when my official boot is finally off, I am going to try to bond Beans and Chip together and do an official bonding, official bonding video where I can open up the entire cage and they will have the entire cage together. So that is my plans for them in the future, probably in the next two months I'm going to be doing that. But for them being beside each other right now, they have been doing really well and I'm really happy about that. I'm not gonna lie, this vlog is very chaotic and all over the place because I was just filming a bunch of random stuff just so I could get a video out to you guys because it's just been forever. And once I hit 50k subscribers on this channel, I'm planning on doing a huge giveaway. So I just wanted to make sure I got some videos up to you guys. So here I'm just cleaning, cleaning. As always, we are always just cleaning. We made a total mess um, redoing all of these cages, but the pet room was so clean afterwards. It felt so good to just have like a completely deep cleaned room. And as you can see here... This is where we opened up to the rabbits. So you can see that their space just doubled from doing this. And the rabbits have been so happy ever since. 
I have caught them doing so many binkies and zoomies on camera ever since I have opened up the half of the room to them and I can just tell that they are super, super happy with it. And I think it looks really good too. So I'm really happy with how this space came out and I'm planning on, you know, decorating it more in the future, getting them some like cuter accessories and stuff to decorate the room. But for right now, the rabbits are happy and that makes me happy. If anybody has any small business recommendations for rabbit and guinea pig items, then feel free to comment down below because I want to check out some more small businesses for my babies. But as you can see here, I refreshed their hay and also their litter boxes and they were super, super happy just running around. I was able to pull out some of my bigger tunnels, my dad walking across the camera right there, um, but I was able to get out of storage their really, really big tunnels so they could run through it and everything and I'm just really happy with the way the foam pieces worked out too. And here is a clip of Beans and Chip interacting for the first time. It took them probably a couple hours before they even came out and noticed each other. And once they did, about 24 hours after they started noticing each other, they constantly were rumble strutting across the side of the bars for literally ever. I was watching them on camera to make sure they wouldn't climb the middle barrier and they just rumble strutted or laid beside each other in the cage for literally ever. And they still do it now. And there were a lot of popcorns too. And it was absolutely adorable. So as you can see here, they were just doing a lot of rumble strutting. No chattering, no like aggressive noises came from either one of them, which is a really great sign, honestly. And it makes me really hopeful for the future bonding of them. So, as you can see here, Chip was super happy. He kept doing popcorns and it was absolutely adorable. And I definitely want to get them to become friends because I can tell that Beans has been a little lonely since losing Noodle. And Chip really enjoyed being friends with Coffee. Coffee just didn't want to be friends with him, which was very unfortunate. I also wanted to mention that if anybody, any artist here ever want to send me any art of my animals, I do have my P.O. box down below or you can email me your art and I can print it out myself. I want to make a huge collage on my pet room wall of art that you guys make of my animals. So like I said, I have my P.O. box if you want to send it to me directly or you can make it digitally and send it to my email and I'll print it out on my printer and put it on my wall. I feel like that's a really good idea to interact with you guys better and I love supporting small artists. And now I am building this storage unit that Timu sent me in my last haul video. So I love this thing. It has held up so well for me and it holds so many liners and pee pads. It's honestly been a lifesaver for me and I want to get another one. And it's just, it's so nice to be able to have a lot of my laundry in here. But keep in mind, this is not even like half of my guinea pig laundry. I have a whole nother closet in another room full of more laundry because I went through that phase where I bought so many guinea pig items that I honestly have more than I even need. So I just kind of keep what I use the most in this room, as you guys can see. And it's just awesome. And I'm really loving it. As you can see, it holds like 10 liners. It's really awesome. Sorry about the noise of the air purifier, but the next thing I'm going to do is try to decorate the walls with a little bit of art I do have. I want to make cage tags for all of my guinea pigs. I only have two cage tags that I've made so far, but they take weeks to make, so making 10 more cage tags would take literally forever. So I'm not going to make those yet, but that is a future video that I am going to make. But I do have these art prints that an artist sent me. I think over a year ago now and I've just had them sitting around and I've decided to go ahead and put them on the walls. Um, I'm not going to put any art around the bunny area yet because I want to put wallpaper on this wall eventually with like woodland creatures or some type of like floral wallpaper I want to put on that wall. So no art is going to go up there until I figure out what type of wallpaper I want to put. But let's go ahead and decorate the other walls with this art. And I'm also going to hang up the two cage tags that I have made in the past on the walls. These were the very first cage tags I ever made. I don't draw on the font 
anymore like with my handwriting I use like an actual system to make the fonts and stuff like that but I actually love that these are the first cage tags I ever made and now I've made over a hundred cage tags for my shop and I just love that so let's go ahead and hang these up In this next part of the video, I am packing an order that I got from my small business. If you guys don't know, I have a small business called Weeks and Witches where I make guinea pig and small pet items. So I got this order from Rochelle from Michigan. I hope I'm saying your name right. And Rochelle ordered three guinea pig pee pads. They actually ordered the last couple of pee pads that I had on my website. I need to buy some more fabric to make some more pee pads. And like I said, I want to film that video showing you guys how I make them. But I just wanted to pack it on camera to thank you so much for ordering from my shop and to everybody else who has ordered from my shop, you guys have been amazing. The next thing I wanted to talk about with you guys is the new litter that I have started using for my guinea pig litter boxes and my rabbit litter boxes. So this is kiln dried pine pellets, so it is completely safe since it is kiln dried. And these bags at Tractor Supply are $7.49, which is an incredible deal. And it's just this pelletized litter that when it gets peed on or when the litter gets wet, it turns into a dry powder. So it is really easy to scoop out. It smells really good. And honestly, it lasts so much longer than the aspen bedding was that I use. One of these bags lasts me about five litter box changes. So I normally go through about two bags a week, but it is still so much cheaper buying two bags a week than it is to buy just one bag of aspen. And it has honestly been a lifesaver and a money saver for me. And the guinea pigs really love it too. So like I said, pine is toxic to guinea pigs. Kiln dried pine is not. So as long as the litter that you're using is kiln dried, it is completely safe. So I wanted to give you guys this little bit of a money saving tip. Look at your local feed stores if you have a tractor supply near you. Their 50 pound bales of Timothy hay are only $30 and then they have the pine litter for only $8 each. And it is so affordable, so much cheaper than what I was paying before with Chewy. And it has honestly saved me hundreds of dollars already this year. I forgot to film an outro for this video. I know everything has been so chaotic, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I hope you learned some new things. I hope you just were entertained in the least. And I had a lot of fun filming this video. So like I said, more videos coming soon. Make sure to check out my social medias down below. And um, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.